sometimes i was wondering how this short discuss or this conversation between me and you continued non stop for 734 to day to day without a break <laughs> everybody told me who will listen to you if you talk every day once in a while you open your mouth and i said no i want to do just paint i am not looking for a buyer i am enjoying this paint let the paint continue as much as it wanted but deep down in my mind i wanted to do it for a thousand days the roar of a thousand men warrior to hit 100 was difficult 200 500 to 734 this is only because of the people around you the loving people full of energy ours is like a joint family when so many people are around you and things happen so with own morning when i went out i was thinking i cannot even lift my leg this much i cannot get a full split so i couldn't do i was terribly tired exhausted yesterday today morning kids came and told me come we will go out <laughs> for cycling so one group took the cycle to the nearest layout in the ashram another took the electric scooter another took the tata sumo another took the car another took the um, um suzuki uh, van and there was a bunch of varieties so i uh, wantingly don't want like that i just went there then i started a little cycling as a walking i started teaching them the scooter my pc kids were there full of energy they were uh, riding and i was teaching them how to ride and then there was another ia students my post graduate students then my married kids they came with the husbands who oh, was a full gang when gang came and they were all moving left and right i was left alone in the center of the road and suddenly my body started shaking i started throwing my kicks and my leg was going bum 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 very there is joy everything opens of its own and the joy comes when you are all together yes arnold joseph toyn b born in 14 april 1889 in london in united kingdom died on 22nd october 1975 in the york in the united kingdom was an english historian a philosopher of history an author of numerous books and a research professor of international history at the london school of economics in kings college london from 1918 to 1950 toynbee was considered leading specialist on international affairs toynbee said civilizations i believe come to birth and proceed to grow by successfully responding to successive challenges they break down and go to pieces if and when a challenge confronts them which they fail to meet they are called the cowards recently my one of my student who got married she was telling she went to one of the relatives house of her husbands and they said go and take blessing when they went there they always having some misunderstanding between relatives and the man refused even to smile or talk he just stood like a stone yes that is what japanese call it is monkey business leave it at there yes we fight we throw heavy punches heavy kicks because we have been taught use your best talent demonstrate the other person should never feel sorry because the other person should feel happy that you used your best possible talent heaviest punches and the kicks so that the opposite partner can go back if he cannot take that punishment he can go back and do some more push ups and become more stronger at the end of the fight they cling together hug together and there is happiness arnold joseph joined with the civilization they believe come to birth and proceed to grow by successfully responding to successful challenges and the smallest thing they 
get angry. They don't express. Yes. You keep on looking at the stones. Yes. And you start talking to the stones. Any stone is okay. Yes. And then you find varieties of stones. And you keep on looking at varieties of stones. Fall in love with varieties of stones. One day you see a stone. That stone has got value. When you polish it up, you know it was diamond. Yes, you are a diamond. Your relatives are diamond. But expressing is very important. Otherwise, the Japanese says monkey business. Look at this man. Here, 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 here. Because he said some. Leave it at that immediately. After the heavy fight, hug and kiss. That strengthens the family beauty. You say smallest challenge, they break down and go to pieces. Even when a challenge confronts them which they fail to meet. There is no challenge, first of all, nobody challenging. Somebody accuses, abuses. You have to find out how to improve and make it much better. And that makes the family strong. Once you break it, again, to create a new family, it takes 800 years, 1,000 years, and never, ever. You are a beggar. Don't point a finger to the beggar on the road, telling he is a beggar, he is poor. You are a poor if you have broken your family, if you refuse to talk to your relatives. Yes. Even if they don't talk to you also, keep talking to the plants. Do you think the plants will speak back? So why you get frightened when the relatives don't talk back to you? What language do the plants and the animals talk back? Do you understand the language? But by the behavior you can understand there is some love relationship happening between you and the tree. And by hugging the tree, you become a tree, tree, tree therapist. Yes, a tree therapy. And you find you build up resistance power. And in the resistance power, you start loving the tree and you can know the tree standing tall the roots are going deeper so that it can stand tall in the strong wind it never cracks its whole sound you can do the same Arnold Joseph Toynbee said civilizations have really come to birth and proceed to grow by successfully responding successive challenges they break down and go to pieces don't go down to pieces even when a challenge confronts them and they fail to meet what is the challenge that your company your family has broken into pieces not because you look in the monkey business, not because you refuse to talk to your ladies. It is just because you made your wife a slave. By looking to somebody else, you thought she's a maid servant. Drop that. Join together hand in hand. Only positive and negative can create electricity. That love relationship of understanding, like how I went to the field with my children, my PUC children, my postgraduate children, my IES children, and my just married kids, and they came with varieties of uh, vehicles and suddenly I found they are all taken all the vehicles I'm left in the center of the road with the happiness I threw my kicks my kicks went boom 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 all the back spinning kicks yeah you can do that you can enjoy when others are enjoying do you feel jealous first do that in your house Love your wife as thyself love your family as thyself work with them don't consider them as your slaves. Don't ask them to bring this and that. Together, 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 work, together, wash, the, together, wash the clothes, together, hug and sleep, together, take baths. Wow. That is the real family. That is the real husband and wife. Otherwise, don't get married at all. Otherwise, they break down and go to pieces. You have gone into pieces like the mutton chops. Not our Shanti, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Come down to Shanti, to come down to Shanti. Husband and wife in equal respect, grow together, cook together. In that cooking, you find a variety of yes, prasada for the gods, variety of ideas. You don't have to become, to go to learn from Australia, from London to take MBA. Your master in business administration was right in the kitchen. The master of business had right in your wife. The moment you are disconnected with your wife, yes, it is pieces. And there is chanchala. And the family is broken very fast. Yes. Talk. Allow her to also to talk. Allow you also to talk. Just to be happy in the family. That is our joint family of India. That is our family tree. Arnold Joseph Toynbee said, 
Civilizations, I believe, come to birth and proceed to grow by successfully responding to successive challenges. Yes, everything when you buy, make sure you buy your, for your family tree. Every 1%, every 1% or 2% of your money should go to the family tree. Go to the family. Don't think what is happening. Dump it in the family tree. They break down and go to pieces. Even when a challenge confronts them and they fail to meet a challenge of Corona comes, you couldn't go to the family tree. You went to another place, a stranger's place, a devil's place. It's the hospital. 